today I am putting together some of the easiest DIYs I've ever made on my channel. They are so easy done in about five minutes, very budget friendly, but really good to dress up your space for the spooky slash fall season. I really loved how all of these turned out, so be sure to stick around for that. Please leave me a big thumbs up and let's go on into it. I know a lot of people have been picking up these mini little doll houses at the Dollar Tree. They're $1.25 and they have a couple of different styles and they are painting them to either look like a haunted house or you can do it for even like a gingerbread village, which I think is absolutely adorable. I'll have to do that later on in the season. But for now, I just picked out the one that I like the best. I'm going to go ahead and paint this thing entirely black. So it blacks out all the pinks and purples and make it more of like a haunted house. Now I am using this piece of wood from the Dollar Tree and I am cutting it in half. I just marked where it needed to go. I do want to purchase me a new miter box and saw because somehow my saw is kind of getting bent and probably just from laying around, I don't put it up like I need to and um, I need to purchase a new one. But I managed to get this cut in half or cut to the length that I wanted. I wasn't worried about it being perfectly even. I just kind of measured with the house how big it needed to be. I'm going to be putting these just like they are on frame right here. I'm going to glue it together so that the house will glue in that little corner or angle to make a little bookend. So the first thing I did after the house dried was glue these little spiders on there. I keep talking about these spiders in like every video. You guys are probably tired of spiders, but um, I just think they are the cutest little thing. They add so much detail. I even took my hot glue gun and put a few faux like fake cobwebs around it by putting a glue dot on the back and letting that hot glue string. I never thought that I would use my hot glue strings in decor, but I've been doing that a lot this season or this year. And it looks really good. I painted these gray, but you could paint them, um, stain them wood color. I think that would look really good with the black house as well. But glued these together, put the house in between there, and this makes the cutest little bookend. You could also make two, set some books in between them, but really like how this one turned out. Okay, so I have shared on my channel before that I took two of these larger glass pieces that I found in the plus section. One was $5 and one was $3. And I turned them upside down and put the little metal knobs on there to make them look like a cloche that you could put anything you want in here. But for this one, I'm not putting items inside this time. I'm actually going to be cutting out a little ghost face using my Cricut. You don't have to have a Cricut for this. You can definitely just cut it out or use a Sharpie to literally look up ghost face on Pinterest and just copy that just freehand it, but I cut them out because I wanted them to be perfect. This is something I'm going to be decorating with and put them on the jars or the glass containers and then fill this up with some stuffing just to get a nice white background to look like little glass ghosts. I wanted these to be coordinating, but I didn't want the ghost face to be exactly the same. So I made them a little bit different I just used an old pillow. I didn't like it, so I just used the stuffing out of it. So I didn't even spend any money. It came free with the couch that I purchased. I just didn't love them, so they were sitting in the basement. But I thought these turned out really fun and will be cute to display. I told you guys these projects were going to be easy peasy, not hard at all, but really fun to put together for this season. If you are wanting some more inspiration or fun ideas, you have to check out Craftsy. A huge thank you to Craftsy for sponsoring today's video. But if you haven't heard of Craftsy, it is your online resource for all things crafty and creative. They offer over 2,000 exciting classes on everything from crocheting, knitting, painting, photography, cake decorating, and pretty much anything in between. Millions of crafters, DIYers, and makers all depend on Craftsy to advance their skills, learn new techniques, and find brand new talent. Craftsy classes are broken down into easy to follow lessons led by friendly yet professional instructors who are going to provide step-by-step -step demonstrations. I just took the class Cookie Bouquet by Maddie Gartman. It is so much fun to me to get to bake and learn new things in the cup 
comfort of my own home. They have tons of fall crafts and recipes to try. Everything from painting pumpkins and making pumpkin pie cookies. Craftsy is always adding new classes. So there's definitely something for everyone. And today I have an incredible deal for you so that you can get started too. For the first 1,000 of my subscribers, it goes and clicks the link down in the description box underneath this video. You will receive a full year of Craftsy Premium Membership for just $1.49. That is super inexpensive to get to the ball rolling and stepping out of your comfort zone to learn something new. You'll definitely leave feeling inspired and have the confidence to start something completely new or brush up on something that you've been dying to jump back into. So be sure to check them out. All that info is is down below underneath this video, but let's go ahead and jump back into crafting. These were a little bit more tricky to find, but I found some black chargers on the bottom shelf of my dishes or glassware at the Dollar Tree, like where the servingware is, the real glass servingware and not the plastic cheap servingware, kind of where the, like the plates and bowls and mugs are. But I found the most beautiful charger and I actually purchased a bunch of these so that I could use them for a real place setting for Halloween or Christmas time. But for this one, I wanted to decorate it up. I have seen the coolest thing, people making crafts where the two ghost eyes actually spell the two O's for boo. So you just have to put a B in the front. Really cute. I tried to make the ghost not look like a shape, even though it kind of looks like a kidney bean. I wanted it just to look like the head and then it started the body going down and then I could put the little eyes. I originally cut them out way too big, but I printed out some smaller ones or or decided to cut out some smaller ones. I was showing that you also could just use the circles or zeros that come in any cheap set of poster stickers. I know Dollar Tree even sells their own poster stickers. So all I was missing here was the B. I just freehanded it with some of this white puff paint, but I do regret a little bit not just going ahead and taking the two minutes to cut it out on my Cricut because I feel like I got it the wrong angle and it's paint. So I'm pretty sure I could have peeled this up and redone it, but I just decided that was pretty good enough as long as I made it a little bit bolder. So I go over it a couple times, added a few fun little dots, and it is a cute piece that would look really fun in like a dining area. I had the best idea. Whenever I saw these really fun high-end vases at the Dollar Tree, I thought they looked like two O's. So I thought I could spell boo. I did have to go to the craft store and pick up a larger B letter just because I couldn't find one big enough, inexpensive enough to go with this set to make it worthwhile. But I ended up, I think this one came from Hobby Lobby, just a couple of bucks. I ended up painting it black and it was a little bit taller than these vases. But by the time that I put the flowers in the vases, I feel like it was the perfect sizing. I only found a gray and a black one at the Dollar Tree. So I, instead of painting them all black, I left the one gray, but I did make a project a couple of weeks ago um, just spraying a little bit of stone paint on this gray one so that's the one I traded it out for and I feel like it just added so much the dots look black so it coordinates with the whole boo thing and then these are just Dollar Tree floral picks that I found in the Halloween section so put a few down in there and thought these turned out so fun definitely my favorite project of the video Ever since I found these little ghost ornaments, I knew what I wanted to do with them. I just hadn't had a chance yet, so I'm finally getting to it in this video, but I wanted to create a garland. Now you could start with a piece of jute twine and tie some fabric on there and start with nothing, but in the plus section, I did find this pumpkin garland for $3, so I thought it was the cutest thing to get to add these two and it's gonna add so much with the larger, better pumpkins on it than anything that I could have that would be in my craft room. So I just started by taking thin jute twine and tying a ghost in between the pumpkins and then going back in and tying some of the colorful little ornaments in between the ghost and the pumpkins just to add in as much color as you wanted to, you still could take pieces of colorful Halloween fabric and tie it in between here, or add in a, a set of string lights to really dress it up. But for me, I have so many lights all over my house, I thought it would be fun just to make a plain one and really just add in that purple and orange color for the Halloween season. So after I got these all tied on, it was ready to display. These are super cute, makes a perfect background or lay it as kind of a garland along your table, but a really cute piece. Thank you. 
A really fun hack here is to pick up a couple of these scallop containers, really any clear tall container would work, and any of the window clings at the Dollar Tree. This would be really fun for a party idea or if you are serving or hosting, but I am just pulling off the labels and you can pick out any of the window clings that you like. Now, I thought these would be a little bit easier to transfer. I found these little hands, which I thought were the perfect size and shape for these containers, but you couldn't get away with transferring it like a Cricut vinyl or anything. You have to actually pull it completely off the plastic and then place it down on the container. Still really easy to do, just takes a couple of minutes. I serve popcorn in these, but I thought this would be super cute for spooky like movie night or a party idea but a really fun piece that my kids loved. If you grab one of these gorgeous dishes from the Dollar Tree, you can fix it up for Halloween. I just think this one had so many detail on it. It was really fun. Kind of look antique or vintage to me. And I am pairing it with one of these wreath decorations. I used a couple of these, the Frankenstein and the Ghost, um, a couple of videos ago in the paper towel holder video. I'll have that link down below if you're interested in watching it. And I put these on stands and they looked really good, but I had a fun idea to actually pair it with a candy bowl. Now I am using just a clear plastic spoon because I don't want just a hot glued popsicle stick showing up and the spoon blends in better with the bowl. All I did was cut a little hole in the witch hat and slide it onto the clear plastic spoon, cut away all of the strings, glued the feet down in place, and this makes the cutest little candy dish with no effort required. It cost me $2.50. I just put some candy corn in here to display it, but you definitely could put some individually wrapped candies in here, but really cute setting on this stack of books. I love taking apart these Dollar Tree Halloween signs, especially ones like this that have these little potion bottles. You can use this for tabletop decor instead of wall decor. Just me personally, I don't love hanging these signs all over my house. Maybe if I have a shelf with hooks on it, I might put one up there, but it's not like I want to put a bunch of holes in my walls and I'm not taking down my big decorations to hang up these little signs. So let me know in the comments down below, what do you do with a Dollar Tree sign? But like I mentioned, like if you have like a coat rack or a set of hooks, already hanging you can easily pop these on there but for this one I wanted to take all of those potion bottles off and make like a fun little row of potion bottles I have seen things like this at TJ Maxx it always goes for like 10 and 15 dollars and we can make this really inexpensive at Halloween time I love like the witch themed and cauldrons and little potions kind of Harry Potter items so I think it's really fun to do this I'm not into like super scary or skeletons um, but for this one I am just taking a little bit of wood putty and filling in the holes at the top because these were hanging by strings and then going to attach it to this wooden block I do add tower blocks just to get it to stand up a little after painting the block It's no secret that these huge wooden decor ghosts are one of my favorites. I've used them in several different ways, but for this one, once again, not wanting to hang any of these on the wall, I am always looking for a way to put items like this on a stand. I fill in the holes at the top with some wood filler, let that dry, and then I'm going to paint these white and cover their faces. When I say cover their faces, I'm not really covering it from the front. I just want to fill in the back so these are going to show up. I have some of this faux leather from the Dollar Tree, so I'm just cutting it down to size, just tracing out where it needs to go, cut this down, and then glue it right in place. I tried to use a glue stick just so the hot glue didn't melt with or destroy the faux leather any, but it didn't stick at all. So I ended up having to use the hot glue, cut the little corners down, and then just using any small piece like this from the Dollar Tree this was perfect because it had this nice circular top that I could attach to the ghost. It's already on a stand. I don't have to worry about gluing anything or drilling any holes. And these are just set up really cute on a shelf, but love how they turned out.
Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Remember to check out Craftsy and get inspired to try something new. The first 1,000 people who click the link down below will get an entire year of Craftsy Premium Membership for just $1.49. Be sure to go check them out and learn something new. Thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.